Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from London and it's about a gang of armed robbers that have been convicted at Woolwich Crown Court today for their involvement in a series of robberies. I've been covering these sort of stories for two years and it doesn't seem to be getting any less frequent to see robberies and ram raids. We even got sent a video yesterday from the West Midlands area in Warsaw of an attempted ram raid. Remember the shotgun? Find the police, Jim. In this story as well, also has footage about a moment when they was arrested by the flying squad in an attempted robbery of £28,000 from a post office. Police said they were career criminals and they were caught by the Mets flying squad in Operation Navarin, which was set up to tackle organised criminal gangs that were violent. Kieran Beasley, Sam Holmes, Sanchez Williams and David Leadbeater from Plumstead Road, all in South East London, were jailed for 10 years and 8 months each for a series of robberies on banks and post offices. The gang used a variety of techniques to avoid detection that included wearing gloves and masks. They also frequently used false plates on stolen vehicles and switched their phones as they went about organising raids on security vans, post offices and banks. On Friday, June the 12th, 2020, the gang was caught red-handed by undercover police as they raided a security van outside New Alton Post Office on Footscray Road in South East London. They pulled up in a stolen vehicle and waited for the security van to arrive before Beasley, Holmes and Williams leapt out and sprinted towards the guard. They said that Beasley rugby tackled the guard, throwing him down to the floor and dropping the cash box. He then grabbed the cash box containing 28 grand before running back to the van with others. The getaway driver David Leadbeater was waiting with the engine running and within seconds the flying squad had intervened and gave chase. The pursuit ended with the getaway van crashing into police vehicles and all four men struggled violently but they were arrested at the scene and the cash was recovered in the back of the van. Eight days earlier on June the 4th, the gang targeted a co-op on Westwood Lane in Blackfen and the gang arrived in a white Peugeot partner van on false plates before getting out and violently attacking the guard and making away with £12,500 in a cash box. But the robber was thought to be Beasley, and he was challenged by the guard and a member of the public, and thrown to the ground before fleeing empty-handed. On Wednesday the 4th of March, the robbers had attacked a post office on Court Road in Mottingham. The first robber dressed in all black, again thought to be Beasley, hit the guard and grabbed the cash box. Another criminal thought to be Holmes carried a blue and red distinctive handled screwdriver, and the criminals ran off towards a stolen Range Rover Evoque that was on cloned plates, and this was found abandoned by police a short time later. The screwdriver was also found in the Range Rover footwell. Beasley and Holmes are thought to have been involved in another robbery on a van outside of Mecca Bingo Hall in Altham Hill on Monday the 17th of February this year. They used the same Range Rover that they turned up to the robbery at the post office in Mottingham as the guard came out of the venue barging him and making off with nearly seven grand. These men are career criminals, each with their own extensive criminal history that includes multiple convictions for burglary and vehicle crime. They used a variety of different methods, they said in court, in order to evade capture and to get big amounts of cash. All three of them pleaded guilty to several charges, including several bank robberies and post office and handling stolen goods and several different vans and commercial vehicles that were used in the cases. So I thought this is a really interesting story to show that these are rare but they still do happen so i really want to hear what people have to say on this story please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll be back again very shortly with some more news peace